Hey, Tony Moreland here with the Samsung Developer Program. Today I'm going to share some marketing tips when it comes to selling your apps on the Galaxy Store. And when I'm talking about apps, it's not just wearable apps, but also watch faces and phone UI themes. I'll talk about some of the tools that we have that can help you create marketing graphics, some social media tips, Galaxy Store badges that you can create to help direct people to your apps, and how to request banner promotions to possibly be featured on the Galaxy Store. The first thing I tell new developers is to build a brand. And a brand is not just your brand name, but it's also your style. Your design should feel like they're all part of a family. If you first create a hyper-realistic digital watch face and then come up with like a quirky artsy watch face, well, this will break your brand and make it difficult for people to become familiar with your work. If you like to do a lot of different styles, well, then I would just create a bunch of different individual brands. So once you've established your style, you need to come up with a brand name. If you have a great name like Matteo Dini, then you can use that as your brand name. However, if it's not that memorable, then I would suggest coming up with a brand name to market your apps. This will make it a lot easier for people to remember you and identify your work. And learning from my mistake, come up with a brand name that is easy to spell and it's easy to remember. So I came up with the brand name Axir, five letters. I chose it because I could get a five letter domain name. Honestly, when I started telling people the name Axir, they had no idea how to spell it, which made it really difficult then for them to find me online later on. So here's a little tip on brand names. When you go to publish your app, be sure to select the advanced mode and put your brand name in the copyright field. This way, when your app appears on the Galaxy Store, it will show your brand name instead of your personal name. After you've come up with a brand name, the next thing to do is create an icon or a logo. This way, it'll make it easier for you to brand all of your apps with a recognizable symbol. A great example of this is Burgeon. He has a wonderful logo that he uses throughout all of his app icons, very recognizable. And his graphics for marketing also are just amazing. And let's talk a little bit more about the marketing graphics. It's one thing to come up with a great app, but if you don't have the marketing behind it, it will be very difficult to gain the confidence of consumers and stand out from the other apps offered on the Galaxy Store. This starts with the app icon and the graphics shown on your seller page. If you need help creating the graphics for your wearable app, I would suggest downloading a tool I built called the Asset Creator. The Asset Creator is a Photoshop template file with multiple artboards that generates the required graphics when you first publish your app. This includes the screenshots, which are the images that users scroll through when they want to see more images of your app. Screenshots are a great way to not only show variations of your app, but also include some of the highlight specifications. You can learn more about the Asset Creator by going to the Design tab and selecting Galaxy Watch. From there, you can see the Asset Creator section and learn more about it. Another similar tool I created are Lifestyle Photo Packs. These are high quality photos that you can use for some of your screenshots. I built each photo using Smart Objects, which allows you to simply copy paste your watch face right onto the watch in the photo. You can learn more about the Lifestyle Photo Packs on the same page. Go to the Design tab and select Galaxy Watch. In addition to the still screenshots, you can also include a YouTube link to a video. This is a great way to show users how your watch functions and see it in action. The more polished you can make your video, the better it's going to look, the better people are going to feel about purchasing your apps. YouTube is also a great search engine for people to discover your brand. Create a YouTube channel, encourage people to subscribe, helping you to build your fan base. And to help people find you on YouTube, I would suggest submitting to channels that review apps. A few great channels are Jibber Jab Reviews and Hux World. They have a great audience and it's easy for you to get in front of them. Another great thing to do is build your own brand website and be sure to stay on top of the SEO, you know, search engine optimization. Websites are obviously a great way for people to discover your brand. Even if they don't yet own a Samsung device, they might see your app and decide to purchase a phone or a watch. And to help drive purchasing of your apps, we have what are called Galaxy Badges. These are direct links to your apps on the Galaxy Store that are a great way to help generate revenue. You can use Galaxy Badges on your website as well as Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. To learn more about Galaxy Badges and how to get started using them, check out developer.samsung and go over to the Distribute page. Another great thing about starting a website is you can collect emails and start a newsletter asking people to sign up. You can use an email marketing provider like Constant Contact or MailChimp to build your distribution list and reach your fan base, sharing with them all of your new releases and the stories behind your designs. 
Having a website would also open you up to running ads on search engines like Google. This can get a little costly, but if you have budget for marketing, it's a quick way to get people to discover your brand. And along those lines, another option is to create a Facebook page. This is a great way to build a following. I would also suggest joining different Facebook groups like Samsung Galaxy Watch Group. The more groups you are active on related to Samsung devices and Samsung apps, the easier it will be to grow your following. Try and drive people to your page by engaging in discussion. You know, a quick tip is to post questions to encourage a conversation. If you just post a quick comment, people will read it and move on. However, if you end your comment with a question, they are more likely to engage with you. If you have some budget for marketing, another nice thing with Facebook is that they allow for target advertising, meaning you can specify the demographic of the person that sees your ad all the way down to what device they're using to view your page. If you're a themes designer, this is very helpful because you can specify that only people with a specific Samsung phone see your ad, thus improving your chance that they would be interested in your Samsung phone UI theme. In addition to Facebook, you can also use Instagram and Twitter to promote your brand. It's a great way to follow other designers and in return, build your own following. To help create graphics for social media, we've put together social media kits. These are template Photoshop files that already contain watches and phones that you then paste your design into. Our social media team is always on the lookout for posts that we can share on our channels. So make sure you tag us by using the hashtag be a Samsung dev. One thing I will say about social media is video is far more engaging. So if you have the ability, it would be better to post videos rather than still images. Another great option that does not cost any money is to request a Galaxy Store promotion. Galaxy Store promotions are banners that appear on the Galaxy Store. You do have to apply and not all requests are approved. However, if you've created a great app that the team at Samsung feel would be beneficial to feature on the Galaxy Store, a banner promotion is an amazing way to get your designs in front of a huge buyer-ready audience. To learn more about Galaxy badges and how to use them, go to our website and click on the Distribute tab, and then go down to Galaxy Store, then click Get Started, and then Marketing Resources, and badge promotion. So those are the marketing tips I wanted to share. If you want to read more about our marketing tips, check out the resource page on our website. You can find our marketing resource page by going to the distribute tab, selecting Galaxy Store, clicking the get started button, and in the sidebar here is our marketing resource section. All right, if you have any questions, make sure you check out our forum at developer.samsung.com, connect and go to the forums page. Or you can submit a support request by going to connect, developer support, and submit a support request. All right, now go market your apps. We'll see you around.